One, dalawa sila. In this case, kahit saan dyan, same lang naman ang value. No, so, one. So, A, B, C, F, E, G ang ating network. Let's have here 5 minus 1. This will be 4. Pag ganun. Tapos pababa. Meaning, outflow na 1 na to, magiging 0 na. 1 minus 1 is 0. Outflow na 5 na ito, magiging 4. 5 minus 1 is 4. Next, we have F. Pag ganun, no? C, F, E. Pag ganun yung network natin. Ang F, outflow ng F na to, which is 4. Magiging 3 na lang. Okay. Then, outflow ng E na to, which is 1, minus 1 pa tayo, magiging 0 na. Alright. I hope you get it. So, good day everyone. Welcome to our next topic regarding maximum flow algorithm. So basically, when we say maximum flow algorithm, this algorithm seeks to determine the maximum quantity that can go from one node to another in a network at any given time. So the starting point is what we call the source or the starting node that is source and the terminal point is what we call the sink or the pong kakalimutan. And for the steps in solving this algorithm first we need to of course to draw the network based on the problem and second we should identify a complete network from start to end with no outflow equal to zero take note of this guys para hindi kayo mamali during your solution no laging trandaan no outflow equal to zero yung network na i-identify nyo lagi na no, for the second step. For the third one, compute the minimum outflow. Fourth, subtract the outflow from all other outflows in the network. And yung minimum flow na yun, i-add naman natin siya to all the inflows in the network. Number six is to re repeat these steps one to five until yung step two is not violated. Meaning to say, as long as uh, we have a network from start to end na uh, no outflow equal to zero, okay pa, tuloy to tayo. Pero if meron na, na-violate na yung step 2, violated na siya, stop na tayo. That will be the time na tapos na tayo. No, and if tapos na tayo, that will be the time na step 7 na tayo, which is to add all the minimum outflow and that will serve as the total capacity so for you to be able to understand these steps and this algorithm more i have here of course the sample problem our sample problem for this discussion is all about the manila water company so we have her me an industrial engineer of manila water company and she is tasked to ensure that maximum amount of water flows from water pump A going to water pump G. She was able to determine the capacity of the outflow and inflow of each of the water pump no? and to another in liters per second ang unit na ginamit. So the capacity figures are summarized in the table on the next slide. So the question is, what is the total capacity of the water flow? Ang tanong dito, marami tayong water pump and given yung capacity niya, out and in capacity, ang units is liters in se uh, per second. Ang tanong doon, sa lahat ng water pump na yun, paano natin magagawa na yung flow ng tubig, no, dito sa Manila Water Company, yung flow ng tubig is at maximum capacity. No, given the fact na iba-iba sila ng capacity per pump, iba ng capacity uh, pa-out and pa-in. So, ayun siya. I hope you get it. So, here's our uh, table showing the flow of the water from pump, specific pump going to specific pump, another pump with the corresponding capacity in liters per second out and in. So, gamitin natin itong data na to in uh, our network. Diba sabi nga, ang step 1 is of course the road the network. So, I have here a ready-made circles, not necessarily na ganito maging itsura ng network ninyo. You can have your network 
here one circle here one circle here one circle here so any any arrangement will do as long as the arcs or the lines connected with with each other is correct so let's start let's start from labeling our circles or our nodes so for this problem i'll choose to have our first node here node a b c d e f and g all right so let's use white okay. so this will be our starting node the node a or the pump a start and this will be our ending node our goal again imagine no guys you imagine may mga tubig coming from this pump going to this pump dapat yung flow ng tubig dyan papunta sa mga yan no is in a maximum level maximum capacity ayun yung goal natin so paano natin gagawin let's have this table so from water pump A going to B ang out nya is A tang in is 2 paano itura nun so A to B ang out capacity is A tang in is 2 diba dito galing yung tubig so ang capacity nya pa out is 8 yan 8 liters per second ang kayang ilabas ng pump A yun nga lang ang kaya lang tanggapin itong pump B medyo mababa lang yung capacity ni pump B no, ang kaya niya lang tanggapin na tubig is 2 liters per second. So, maglalagay tayo din ng 2. Para tandaan na ito yung capacity niya pa-in. No, don't, don't forget that. Okay, B yan na yun. So, next, okay na tayo dito. No? Next, A to D, 4 lang out, yun is 6. A to D, out from 4, uh, from A is 4. Ang capacity ni D in is 6. So, we're done with this row. Next, we have B to C, 3 and 9. So, B going to C. Ang capacity out is 3. Capacity in, 9. Alright. So, next we have B to E, 1, 5. So, B to E, 1, and 5. Next, C to D, 9 and 0. C to D, oops. C to D, oh, I already erased this one. Okay. C to D, we have 9 A and 0. Tama ba ako? 1 and 5 B E tapos na no? check na natin ito okay so for C to F we have 7 and 1 ito siya 7 capacity out ang capacity naman na kayang tanggapin ni F is 1 liters per second 1 liter per second D to F we have 5 and 7 D to F 5 and 7 so next e to f 0 and 4 e to f we have 0 and 4 by the way guys this topic is still still under the network models diba if you recap that here ito minimum spanning tree maximum flow ito yun and the last one is the shortest route the next topic natin so, Again, this is under the network models na topic. Alright, so EF, okay na tayo po EF, so go for Second to the last, we have E to G. From pump E going to pump, pump G. 2, 8. 2, 8. And lastly, we have F to G, 6, 3. So F to G. We have 6 capacity out, capacity in, 3. Ayan. So, ayan ang itsura ng ating network. Now, step 2. Sabi dito sa step 2, okay na tayo sa step 1, no? Step 2 natin is to identify a complete network 
from start to end with no outflow equal to zero. Kasi pag nag-outflow nag tayo equal to zero, meaning to say, hindi na maglalabas yung pump natin ng tubig na mapuputol na yung sistema, mapuputol na yung buong network flow, hindi na aabot sa end node natin, which is pump G. Eh, ayun nga yung goal natin. No? Kaya ito yung sinasabi yung step number 2. No, sige, hanap tayo ng pwede na maging flow natin. Kung pag ganito tayo, A, B, C, B, may in tayo. F, O, ito, in, 0. Ito pwede, kaso napakalayo. No? Guys, and, uh, dito wala tayong definite na rule kung ano yung uunahin ninyo. Pero for our example, siguro dito tayo sa mas malapit muna pag ganyan. A, D, F, G. Basta lagi nyo lang titignan, again, wala dapat tayong outflow na zero. In our case, sa sinabi kong network flow, no, A, D, F, G. Ang outflow ni A is 4, okay yun. Ang outflow ni D is 5, hindi 6. 6 is inflow. No, so, 5 ang outflow ni D, okay yun. Outflow ni F is 6, then going to G. So, wala tayong problem dyan. So, for that, guys, let's have here yung listahan ng mga flow na pinipili natin. Dahil kung nakita nyo kanina, yung bandang huling, uh, if I'm not mistaken, step 5 or step 6, sabi niya, ulitin niya lahat ng steps na power to ulit para meron tayo dito ng listahan. So, lagay natin dito, network flow. So, when we say network flow, this is from start. from start to end. Ayan, yung network flow without zero outflow. Ayun yung sabi kasi ng ating rule number 2. So, again, ang sabi ko, no, ADFG ang unahin natin. ADFG. If gusto nyong unahin is ABEG, okay lang din naman, no? That is a network na wala pa rin zero na outflow dahil ang outflow ni A is 8, B is 1, E is 2, then going to G. Okay lang po yun. No? Kahit anong mauna dito, may kita nyo mamaya kung bakit ko nang banggit. No? So, ilista natin yung mga outflow. A is 4, D is 5, F is 6. So, 4, 5, and 6. Okay? Next step number 3. Compute the minimum outflow. So, yung nalista natin na 4, 5, 6, ano yung minimum doon? Pinakamaliit sa 4, 5, and 6. Of course, that is 4. Now, yung 4 na yan, ba, uh, tignan natin yung steps, no? Yung 4 na yan, sabi dyan, subtract the outflow from all other outflows. Ang tinutukoy dito, guys, is yung minimum outflow. No? Subtract daw natin yung nakuha natin na yun, yung 4 to all other, from all other outflows in the network. Then, yung 5 naman, sabi niya, add the minimum outflow to all the inflows in the network. No? So, yung minimum outflow na nakuha, ibabawas natin sa lahat ng outflow ng network. Nakuha to all sa lahat, ibabaw sa lahat, pero i-add naman sa lahat din ng inflow sa buong network. So, ayun yung sinasabi ni 4 and 5. Pinagsama ko ng banggitin, pinagsama ko ng i-discuss para makuha ninyo dahil gagawin natin yan doon sa network diagram natin. Again, we have 4. No? So, sabi, ibawas daw ito sa mga outflow. So, this will be 0. This will be 1. This will be 2. Ito is inflow naman yan. Wala tayong problem dyan. Oo ha? So, ayun. Okay, yan. Then, pagdating naman sa ating mga inflow, i-add naman natin siya. Yun yung sabi ng next na step eh. So, ito, plus 4. This will be 7. 
Tapos, ito, inflow yan. This will be 11. 7 plus 4 is 11. So, itong D na inflow, which is 6 plus 4 tayo dyan, magiging 10. Okay? So, I hope you get it. Ayun kasi yung network na napili natin, no? So, next na network natin, check ulit natin. Saan dyan yung walang zero na outflow? Ito, hindi na tayo pwede magpababa, no? Kasi sa pump A pa lang, we already have a zero na outflow. So, kailangan pump A pataas dito papunta kay pump B. Yun na yung choice natin. Wala tayong ibang choice. Yun na lang, nag-iisa. So, pwedeng ang gawin natin. Ito kasi, hindi tayo pwede dumaan dito sa E, no? Pababa, time zero ang outflow. Pwede yan. A, B, C, F, G. Walang zero doon. No, guys, uulitin ko, no? Nakadependo ito kung paano nyo titignan yung network. So, sige, try natin yan. Pwede yan. A, B, C, F, G. So, let's have A, B, C, F, G. Anong outflow ng A? We have 8. For the B, pag ano, no? Pag ano. Baka piliin nyo 1. Kasi ang next natin is C, not E. So, meaning, ang outflow na kukunin natin for B is 3. So, we have 8 and 3. Sulat muna natin dito. We have 8 and 3. Next, outflow ni C is 7. F is 2. Ito ang pipiliin nyo, guys. Yung bago. No, even yung original outflow ni F is 6. Doon, doon kayo sa bago tumingin. So, sige, isulat natin yun. 8, 3, 7, and 2. Wala nang next dahil ang next nun is pump gina. Last pump na. Wala namang i-output yan. Wala nang nabanggit na. Eh, nang goal lang is papunta kay pump G. So, let's, uh, let's perform the next na uh, step natin. 8372, anong pinakamaliit? Of course, that is 2. And, since pa ganun tayo, sabi niya, di ba? Ibabawas lahat ng... Uh, yun ako ating minimum outflow sa lahat ng mga outflow dun sa network na napili natin. So, meaning, itong 8 na to, magiging 6 na lang yan. Yung outflow na 3 na to, magiging 1 na lang yan. And minus 2 eh, no? Itong 7, minus 2 will be 5 na lang siya. Then, itong 2, minus 2 mo pa, wala na. 0 na lang siya. And, Yung 2 daw na yun, i-add daw natin sa lahat ng inflow ng network na pinili natin. So, we have G here, 7, plus 2, this will be 9. Umaangat siya. Napansin ninyo, yung inflow umaangat, yung outflow mo ababa. And, yung inflow na 1 na ito, plus 2 tayo, this will be 3. And, yung inflow na 9 na ito, mag plus 2 tayo, this will be 11. Then, yung inflow na 2, plus 2, this will be 4. Alright, I hope you get it. Okay, now, since okay na yun, balik na naman tayo sa unang step. Tingin ko na naman tayo. Ito, kanina, pwede ko nakita ko na to kanina, no? A, B, E, G. Yung mga labas, madaling makita yun, eh, yung mga gilid-gilid ng network. Parang kanina, inuna ko, A, B, F, G. Tapos, nagsunod ako, A, B, C, F, G, gitna. Pero kung tutuusin, pwede naman A, B, E, G. Anyway, pwede pa rin natin siyang gawin ngayon dahil kung titignan nyo, hindi pa rin natin nalalabag yung rule number 2, yung step number 2, which is, dapat daw, walang zero outflow sa network. Wherein, kung titignan nyo, A, B, E, and G is wala namang zero na outflow. So, meaning, pwede natin, ayan ang i-consider natin na next na network natin. A, B, E, G. So, let's write here. A, B, E, G. What, we, what is the new outflow of A6? Guys, hindi nyo na gagamitin yung original, no? Kasi to be honest po, ang topic na to, napakaraming iterations. Parang yung minimum spanning 3, marami din iterations yun. Pero for the bot topic, hindi ko na, hindi ko na pinili na ilagay pa yung mga iterations na yun. Dahil alam ko mali ito lang kayo. Kaya, ang pinapakita ko ngayon is yung pinakamabilis, pinakamadaling way. No? So, tatandaan nyo na lang yung mga technique na binabanggit ko. So, we have here 
sabi ko no uh, sixth ang output ni A tapos pag ganun tayo no ang output ni B is 1 so let's write it here 6 1 and last we have E output niya is 2 going to G outflow 2 so capacity ang pinag-uusapan natin ha okay so 6 1 2 what is the smallest or what is the minimum outflow of course that is 1 and ima-minus natin siya sa lahat ng mga outflows natin which is 6 minus 1 5 Outflow natin dito, 1 minus 1, that is 0. So, 2 minus 1, that is 1. Ayan. And lahat ng 1 na yun, ipo-plus naman natin sila sa mga input. Or sa mga inflow, input ako na input. <laughs> so, 8 plus 1 is 9. Dito naman, inflow ng E, 5 plus 1 tayo dyan, magiging 6. Input ng B, 4, plus 1 tayo dyan, magiging 5. Okay? So, yan. So far, okay naman. Sige, hanap pa tayo ng pwede pa nating flow from A to G na wala tayong outflow na 0. A, B, E, G, hindi na pwedeng ulitin dahil may 0 outflow na tayo dito. Gilid-gilid tayo. A, D, F, G, hindi na pwede. Bukod dito sa zero outflow ni F, A pa lang may zero na. Mm -hmm. So, ang pwede na lang ay A, B, C. Ito kasi inflow niya. Ito pwede sana, pero ang inflow niya zero, walang tatanggapin daw. Eh. A, B, C. Ito pwede, no? F, G, ayun. A, B, C. G or pwede rin natin si ano ang ay ang IDFG pwede kanina ang pwede ito pwede natin padaanin dito guys A B C F E G ayan pwede yan yung kanina rin pwede rin pala ito A B C tapos D F G mamaya ayun ayun yung isundod natin so ang unahin muna natin ay A B C, basta walang outflow na 0, no? F, E, G. Okay, isulat natin para di natin malimutan. A, B, C, F, E, G. Ayan, medyo mahaba-haba itong ganitong flow. So, let's have the outflow. 5, ganun, no? 1. Next, A, B, C, outflow ng C, going to F is 5 lagay muna natin yun 515 I hope you have your pen and paper with you para masabihan nyo ako 515 then nandito na tayo outflow ni F going to E that is 4 outflow ni E going to G that is 1 so 4 1 515 so next step choose this the minimum outflow which is 1, dalawa sila. In this case, kahit saan dyan, same mo naman ang value. So, 1. So, A, B, C, F, E, G ang ating network. Let's have here 5 minus 1. This will be 4. Pag anon. Tapos, pababa. Meaning, outflow na 1 na to, magiging 0 na. 1 minus 1 is 0. Outflow na 5 na ito, magiging 4. 5 minus 1 is 0. Next, we have F. Pag ano, no? C, F, E. Pag ano yung network natin. Ang F, outflow ng F na to, which is 4, magiging 3 na lang. Okay. Then, outflow ng E na to, which is 1, minus 1 pa tayo, magiging 0 na. Alright. I hope you get it. And next, natin, i-plus natin yon sa mga inflow natin. So, inflow, pabalik naman tayo. Inflow ng G na 9 plus 1, magiging 10 na yan. Tama. So, eto, inflow na 0, magiging 1. Tapos, inflow na 3, magiging 4. Tapos, 
next natin, inflow na 11. Itong 11, magiging 12. Tapos, inflow na 5, magiging 6. Pa-plus tayo, no? Then, itong wala tayong inflow sa A, eh. Out, outflow kasi ito. Okay. So, yung kanina. Check natin yung kaninang sinabi kong network. A, B, C, pababa. Ah, wala na. Hindi natin siya pwedeng gawin. Ito yung na nabanggit ko kanina. Kahit ano yung mauna, basta wala na lalabag na tool, okay lang. Kasi darating sa point na hindi na siya pwede. No, tulad nito. A, B, kung ang isusunod mo kay B is E, hindi na pwede. Dahil zero na siya eh. Zero outflow na. Now, kung ang isusunod mo naman sa B, ay C, hindi na rin pwede dahil yung 3 na original naging 1, naging 0 na. So, 0 outflow, hindi na siya pwede. No, eh, dalawa lang nakakonect kay A. B and D lang. etong network na D, kung dito mo naman isusunod, kanina pa, pangalawang iteration pa lang, hindi na agad siya pwede dahil nag-0. Meaning to say, guys, wala na po tayong next na network. Kung baga dito sa steps na to, balikan natin yung steps. Steps 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ito yung paulit-ulit tayo. Kasi sabi niya, repeat steps 1 to 5 until step 2 is not violated. We're in sa pagkakataon natin ngayon, nababiolate na siya dahil na meron na tayong 0. No, ito, ito, at ito. Kaya hindi na tayo makaproceed sa buong network. Kaya po, Kung papansin ninyo, sa steps na to, dito na tayo ngayon sa step number 7. Sabi niya, we should add all the minimum outflow and this will serve as the total capacity. Ang tinutukoy niya dito na all the minimum outflow is that lahat ng minimum outflow ng nakuha natin na network flow. No, which is yung sinusulat ko after ng diagram. Ito. No, yung apat na yan. Kunin natin dyan yung minimum outflow. And this will serve as the capacity. So, ito, minimum yan is 4. Copy lang, no? This is 2. This is 1. And ito, kahit dalawa sila, same lang naman ang value. So, 1. I-add natin, guys. 4, 2, 6, plus 1, 7, plus 1, 8. Meaning to say, 8 liters per second ito ang total capacity no? total capacity yan ng buong uh, network natin meaning to say yung buong system ng water pump netong Manila water kung saan man yun nakapwesto no? yung buong system yan ang tanong ko kasi what is the total capacity of the water flow yung buong system ng water flow na yan 8 liters per second. No, so, that's it. No, I hope you get it. That is the, what we call the maximum flow algorithm. In that case, guys, using that algorithm, if na-imagine nyo na may flow ng tubig from A going to D, nakuha na natin yung pinakamalaking uh, capacity, yung maximum capacity na yan, yung 8 liters per second. Meaning to say, if ever nalataas ka dyan, 8.5 liters per second or 9 liters per second pwedeng hindi na hindi nga na may emit yun hindi na mangyayari yun or if mangyayari naman yun pwedeng magkaroon ng error dito sa buong sistema na yan ng network na yan no, pwedeng, pwedeng may, may masirang pump dyan mayroong mag mayroong mag crash na pump mag sumabog na pump or kung ano man na negativity. No? So, I hope you get it. That ends up our presentation regarding the maximum flow algorithm. So, wag kakalimutan, this is the second algorithm under ng network modeling. No? After ng minimum spanning. Term. So, thank you for your time. Thank you sa participation nyo, sa ating discussion. And keep safe always. Bye-bye.